Hello everyone, Plant Assassin here. Um, I was out walking and I noticed that there were some black locusts. So I figured I'd take a video of them. Now, uh, these trees are actually very common in the West and in Idaho, especially in the southern parts of Idaho. And the reason for that <clears throat> is because during the Great Depression, these uh, plants were brought out to, for soil erosion control and to help fix nitrogen in the soil. Now, uh, there's uh, also another plant that was planted at the same time, and that was the honey locust. But this is the black locust, and you could tell the difference because these have smaller pods uh, and the leaves are uh, quite a bit larger but uh, apparently they eat these in uh, some areas we've never done that we've always used it just for its uh, erosion control and the fact that it'll uh, you know it'll fix nitrogen it's uh, very tolerant of horrible <laughs> horrible conditions. I've seen these growing in old rock quarries, uh, places where they used to have mines, um, places where the soils become toxic. So, and the reason it's called the black locust is it starts out with these green pods and eventually they turn black. And these are about ready to snap and you can see that there are little seeds in here. Now uh, birds will eat these and uh, they seem to like them. Actually there are toxicity issues with this plant but um, animals will browse on it so you can see the seeds here are not very big and it would uh, take quite a while to gather a large amount of them. <clears throat> One time when I was younger, now this would have been in kindergarten or so, my brother and I got an idea that we were going to fill a whole um, pie tin with, one of, with these seeds. And we worked the better part of a summer. And um, I think we did eventually fill it up, but, you know, just collecting these and shelling them was difficult. Now, obviously you could probably mechanically collect these if you trimmed them off here. And then, you know, they're ready to fall out. So. But at the same time, it's probably just easier to plant, plant the tree where you want it and then let the seeds fall on the ground. So like if you, um, we used to have chickens and they would scratch around underneath the tree quite a bit, getting the seeds. And then also the chickens would, you know, keep the keep the bugs down. So it's uh, it's probably just way easier to do that than try to collect the the pods and then shell them. So, but it's uh, it's a handy plant, and specific, you know, when they had the dust bowls going on, and <clears throat> the you know the we were losing a lot of the topsoil out in the west. Uh, this plant was uh, one of the ones that helped save the agriculture. So it's uh, native to North America. It's not native to this area, but it's very useful. So anyway, if you found this video informative, please like and subscribe.